Hi everyone, today I'm playing, as you know, I love this Filbert brush. It's been one of my go-tos, this and the number eight long round Princeton, although I do have my own version of that. It's a little bit different, but very similar. And by the way, my brushes, you guys keep asking me, thank you so much. Um, I have been told that it will be a very limited release, so make sure you sign up to be notified. Um, but here's the link right here. You can go there and just ask them to email you. Um, but I'm going to be playing with my 8 Filbert today. It's so much fun. I love this brush. And I wanted to show you um, how I sometimes soften some of my um, edges. So many times I treat the water as almost a color. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of my purple and I'm just going to be using that brush stroke that you know I love, which is almost like a C back and forth. And I'm using the tip of my brush, anchoring my hand and holding my brush a little bit parallel, maybe to two or three o'clock. And I'm going to go in. I'm also using the width of the brush, but look how beautiful and easy to make these brush strokes. Okay, then before I go too far, I want to really wash and rinse my brush. As you know, I'm always washing and rinsing my brush. Tap it off because I want a little bit of water on there, but not dripping. And this is another way to soften those brush strokes is just go in with that water, tap it off, and then keep cleaning that brush off and going in alongside of all these and getting it to spread. So I've created this nice, soft, beautiful kind of softening of those edges. And I might even go around, keep washing, rinsing your brush. But it just creates this beautiful, beautiful, nice washy look that is so exciting for me in watercolors. So I'm gonna do that again right here. Um, let's just create a little bud. So using the sides and flat, not as much the flat part on the bud, but then rinse my brush really well, tap it off a little, and go in, wash again, because every time you touch in, you're picking up some paint. So really important to wash and rinse that brush. And then just go around the edges with just a damp brush. You don't want it too wet. Now this bud actually kind of got large, didn't it? That's okay. And all of my petals are going to the center point. Then let's grab some paint and create. Now I really would have rather went in there when it was wet like this one and just create some little stems, but look how pretty. Now that this dried a little, I can go in even again. Just keep washing and rinsing that brush. And it just creates this beautiful magic. I'm going in and letting that green spread, just barely touching in. Now let's do some little, you know what? You could even do at this point. So I've really softened these edges by going up next to them with a damp brush. Let's go in with a little bit of a different color. Oops, that I think was the same color. Hold on, yep, it was. Wash and rinse my brush. I think when I last um, filled my brush, I mean my pans, I think I accidentally put the wrong color in. So now I'm going in where I just dampened and I'm just adding in 
some of this beautiful red violet color and look how pretty that is don't want to do too much because we don't want to overwork i might add in a couple little leaves and i'm going to use the side of my brush and apply pressure so point press and then like light pressure like that and maybe i want to widen that a little now i might really get rid of a lot of that paint and go in and again i'm using the side of my brush and go in here just add in a few more so as you can see i'm kind of using water as almost a color here so why oops wash rinse my brush there we go just wetting my paper and i think i'm basically done so i wanted to share that little tip with you because i think it's so fun in my last video i showed you how you could even just crinkle up as much as possible, get as many folds as you want in there, and go in and create. Now this is kind of dried, but look how it creates some really fun and unique little light spots. So there you go. I hope you give it a try, everybody. And most of all, just have fun. You know, take my tutorials, give them your spin, and have fun with this process. I can always tell when people really have fun with their watercolors. And to me, that's what it's all about. By the way, I do have a new online course. I'd love, you guys can do it at your pace. I make it simple and fun. I take out all that frustration. You have a really great um, little project at the end. Here's the link for that if you'd like to take a peek. And happy painting. Thank you everybody for being here with me. I hope this was a fun technique and you give it a try. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.